The Red Clay Dance Company is celebrating 14 years. Here today is artistic director and CEO Vershawn Sanders Ward. Vershawn, thank you for joining us. Did you think that when you went to Africa 14 mm -hmm. years ago that it would be this this big? No, I did not. I was I was a youngin, <laughs> still trying to figure out my way in the arts, what I wanted to do with my dance and my um, activism, my artivism, really. So that trip allowed me the time and the space to see what was possible. I was very inspired by my time there, and Why wanting was to it bring so it back. inspirational. What what was it that got you when you got there? Yes, well, I mean, it felt like a homecoming. Did you know, it? it was my first time there, but I was going for a three month program to continue my training. This was post grad school, mm -hmm. and the school itself was just magical. It was dancers from around the world, literally from Australia to Japan, wow. and I, it just reminded me of how um, expansive the art and dance world is, um, and the opportunities you have to meet people from around the globe through this form. And that was inspirational, and I wanted to bring that back to Chicago. I'm a Chicagoan, and um, you know we're we're a global city too. So it was like, hey, let's let's have something like this in my city, in my hometown. So you come back after three months in Africa. Yes. Where do you start to start a dance company? And that's that's quite. Uh, yeah, it was a task. <laughs> a well, task. I started some of yes. the visioning while I was there but then once I came home I had an opportunity to do some teaching with some young people on the mm -hmm. south side and um, I knew then that I was like I can't do this all by myself mm -hmm. <laughs> I mm -hmm. need some help um, and I was a choreographer I always wanted to dance and make work uh, so I did auditions at the youth center and found some amazing artists and um, that's how it started mm -hmm. yeah it just <laughs> grew from there yeah it, it developed from us being a company to then doing more educational programs. We started teaching in Chicago Public Schools while still teaching at the Youth Center mm -hmm. and really understood what it meant to develop a program to develop the next generation of artists. You talk um, about the next generation. What mm -hmm. have you seen this dance company do to these artists? Yes. Well, you know, what has it brought about for well, them? We, we have alumni now. We have a youth company. We well, just I'm sure after 14 yeah. years, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they come back now with families, which is really mm -hmm. kind of wild to see but still a passion for dance and wanting to be connected to red clay dance and knowing that it helps shape them um, especially when you think about youth development right it helps shape their development as artists as activists again but as community members and citizens in the city so where, yeah. where did the name red clay come up with so come, my come mom from? and my parents are from mobile alabama so the south um, I right. would go and visit my grandparents every summer growing up, and the red dirt, the red clay, was always very interesting to me because we didn't have that in here Chicago. Chicago. No, we do not. It's like, what is this? <laughs> we just have black dirt. We just have black dirt. <laughs> but the red earth and me, um, you know, when, when kids played outside, and just the imagination and creativity that you can make and mold something with your hands and make it whatever you want it to be. And that's how I wanted my art and my dance to be, you know, an extension of myself. Um, and red clay is an extension of that. And you say artivism, which is activism and art put together. Yes. How, where does the activism part come in mm -hmm. if I came to see your um, performances? Yes. Where would I get the activism part? In the messaging, you know, our work is purposeful. We have, um, we're here with a purpose and we're based in a community where we want to reflect back the values of that community. You're in Woodlawn, right? Yeah, we're yeah. in Woodlawn. But also the challenges of living in those neighborhoods. Um, and, you know, a lot of times we don't always have the words or the we're not ready for the conversation mm -hmm. but dance is a way to kind of enter in right and have that visceral experience because it's all about that with movement and starting to break down some of those barriers to then be able to have a conversation you know do you think some of the kids who do come to red clay dance company mm -hmm. their lives have been saved after having been a part of this? I feel like it's transformational. It's definitely an opportunity to see something bigger than yourself, to be able to see uh, beyond 63rd Street and Cottage Grove, right? To have professional artists that this is what they do for a living, it's not a hobby, and that they've traveled the world, but they've come back to Chicago. And to be an example of the possibilities for that. So I think it's transformational. Yeah, they see mm -hmm. something that they can do when they normally yes. wouldn't have been able to, because they not necessarily can go to Joffrey Ballet or mm -hmm. other places but mm -hmm. gives, this gives them the idea. Now, August 4th, a couple weeks ago, you had a big soiree, yes, right? Yes, How Paint much fun was that? Red. It was too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a great fundraiser. We were raising funds for scholarships for our new school of dance. So we have a new program. Um, again, it's to provide 
quality training on the south side of Chicago for um, aspiring dancers. And so we want families to come and learn about our school. And so that fundraiser was to support scholarships. Uh, one of our impact areas is around accessibility and, and not having any barriers to excellence. So we want to inspire the excellence inside of every young person walking down 63rd right. that peaks inside of our studio. What is that? I want to find out what that is. Have you found that a lot of these kids have gone on to school who normally would not have to college possibly? Or we actually had careers? our first graduate Three years oh, ago, wonderful. she went on to a Howard University, okay. studied dance. So that was a, that's a proud moment for, for sure. Us. Mm -hmm. Definitely for you. For this is your baby, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is my baby. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> I love it so much. Yeah. I love it. But I know um, I know how much dance saved my life, and um, it allowed me again to see myself and to uh, continue how did it to save develop. save your life? I, I mean, I think I won't say save my okay. life, but it um, it gave me a clarity about my purpose right. and why I why I was here. And there's so many different career paths that you can follow, you know, growing up. But dance was my passion, and I wanted to figure out how can I make this a career? How can I make this sustainable and support myself through? something that I love so much. Now folks out there who may be sitting say, hmm, I know somebody who may be interested in that. How do they get involved? Yes, yeah, so they can visit our website, redclaydance.com. Uh, you can also just stop by our studio on mm -hmm. 63rd and Cottage Grove. And we have workshops coming up too. So if you have a young person interested in dance, but they're not quite sure what they want to do right. yet, they can come to a workshop. And we have a performance coming up next Saturday. So if you would like to see Red Clay Dance in action, We'll be at Millennium Park next Saturday at 6.30. Nice. Yes. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. Red Clay, Red Clay Dance is located yes. at 808 East 63rd Street, mm -hmm. 63rd and Cottage. Yes. Find more information on your performances and your programs at redclay.com. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. in. Thank you. Break a leg. Thank you.